Hello, good morning. Today is a great day for a goodwill or two. <laughs> it is Thursday morning today and it's 9.49. Goodwill's open at 10 here. I have to be back home by 12.30, so we've got about two hours to hit some Goodwills. They're two right next to each other, so my plan of attack is to go to both and only hit up, to me, the most profitable sections of the thrift store. So, uh, we're going to maxi dresses, we're going to shoes, and then pants slash jeans. And potentially men's pants slash jeans, because I just listed a pair of public rec pants last night that sold overnight. So that just has me motivated <laughs> to go to the men's section and possibly find something good. Okay, wait, I'll be right back. I gotta go uh, put my gas back. Oregon finally is letting me pump my own gas, which is, I love. I, uh, as a Kansas girl, I'm very much appreciative of it. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I actually <laughs> filmed a thrift with me last two this tuesday but my microphone was not working so the whole thing i can't use but it's actually fine because it wasn't a very good throw with me i did not have a ton of luck i found like seven things within an hour and a half which is not good so my hope today by going to two different goodwills and hitting up not only the sections that have the highest asp which stands for average sales price but the sections that to me, in my experience, tend to be where I find the most items. Hitting those three sections up, sticking to them. Uh, should I go to the athletic section? No, I'm not going to. <laughs> Executive decision. Those are the three sections I'm gonna go through. And I'm gonna give myself an hour at each store and we're gonna see what we can find. If you're new here, I basically have been reselling on Poshmark and eBay for since 2017. So, seven years. <laughs> I actually think I had my very first sale on Poshmark soon. I need to check the date and post about it on Instagram or something. But yeah, that's what I do for a living. It's really cool. I really love this job. And this is the best part of it, is thrifting. So, it's a good day. Tuesdays and Thursdays, I like to go to Goodwill. And so, we're gonna go and see what we can find. All right, I'll meet you there. Okay, a very, very great start to today. I am excited. Already there are three new racks out when I walked in at opening and um, that's a great sign. If you're new to reselling, you wanna go through the new racks first. The last thrift store I went to had like, no, they weren't putting out any new inventory. So I was getting kind of worried, but here it seems like they're putting out a lot of new inventory. And the first rack I showed you, I didn't find anything, but then the second two, I found some really good things. Okay, the second rack, I found a pair of Everlane, and I am definitely becoming way more selective with Everlane, but one style that I know does well is this balloon or carpenter leg pant. I know because I've searched for it and purchased it myself on, on Poshmark. And I think this is the balloon leg style. It just does really well. So if you come across that, I would say pick it up. I'm going to pick this one up for $9.99. I don't even think I'm going to check comps. And then I also found this really pretty satin draped dress, formal wear dress, Lulu's size large for $12.99. Seems to be in excellent condition, but I'll definitely look it over closely and I'll probably check comps on this. And then on the third rack, I found some really good menswear pieces. All three of these menswear brands were new to me, I think this year, um, but I've sold them all before and they've all done really well. So if you're kind of new word to men's, get out your pencil and paper <laughs> because these are bolo brands. Okay, the first is Doer. They actually make men's and women's. I'm pretty sure this is men's, uh, I'll have to double check. And also, I think I'll probably check comps, but this brand sells really consistently for me. This is a jogger style kind of cargo pant. So i um, excited about this find and they're asking for $9.99. So I'll check comps on that one. And then this is also a Bolo brand. 
I think I've sold once, maybe twice. It is Muggsy, which is a really solid men's brand uh, that's sold primarily online, I think. And this is a pair of jeans. Cost of goods is $9.99. And then the other men's wear, I've only found this one time and it was at the bins. I'm definitely gonna check comps on this because I've only sold their shorts. I've never found a top, but this is Alex Crane. Really good men's bolo brand. Uh, they do want $9.99 for it. It's a, I think it's probably a cotton or linen stripe button down. So I'm gonna check comps, make sure that it's worth picking up, but I loved selling this brand the one time I found it. I actually found one other thing. It's not men's, but it's a pair of figs, scrubs, pants for $6.99. This is like my favorite bread and butter. So excited to find this too. All right, now I'm actually in shoes. So I'm gonna look in shoes and then we'll go over to dresses. This is a good bread and butter brand for shoes to know. It's Taos, and these are actually really cute, but they want 20 bucks for them, so. This is an interesting collab. I didn't know that this existed. These are like, these are half off. Yellow tags are half off, but they're kind of too beat up for me to want to pick up. So I thought that was interesting. Converse, I don't ever pick up Converse to be honest. Should I look that up? I feel like there's no way. That's anything. Maybe I'll just Google it just to make sure. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look this up. Wolkie. Well, they want 20 bucks for them though, so I probably, I think that might be a good brand to know. I might just look it up just for education purposes. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Oh, these are cute. That looks like a newer J. Crew. Man, that is a cheap sole. <laughs> it's like foam. <laughs> I think for $9.99, it's probably not gonna be worth it, but those are cute. Okay, here's a pair of free people uh, for 15 bucks, not worth it. I already looked at that. That's the thing about Goodwills here is everything's so expensive. Okay, Rebecca Minkoff. I mean, talk about a designer that resale value is not that great. I don't even think I'll check comps on these. I still have like a pair of brand new Rebecca Minkoff really cute sandals that I've literally had for probably like three years. So these are good. Like Vins can be really good to pick up, but they're just the conditions not there. Oh, I love selling Eileen Fisher shoes, but these are just in really, I mean, worn out shape. I also love selling Echo. These are a little older style though. Look at those. Wow. Y'all. Rothy's. Okay, the problem is A, they're pricing at $19.99 which would be fine if they were in perfect condition, but they're not. They're white loafers and they have all kinds of issues. However, Rothy's are machine washable and that side's worse. So do I take on this project? I probably am going to. <laughs> I feel like this is a really cool challenge for me and I'll see if I can get out these stains. I'll probably check comps first just to make sure it's worth the time, effort, and money, but yay! I think this is only my second time, third time finding Rafi's, so very, very excited about that. These are cute and they're only $6.99. That sole is pretty dirty, but the upper looks good. I don't know. I don't know. T Crew shoes I really only want to get if they're in good condition. Hmm. I don't really know this brand. I might look look that up. Maybe I'll put it here so I can remember to look it up. Those are in really excellent condition, but they want $19.99, so 
I will pass. Oh, that's interesting. I've never seen Timberland. 20 bucks. In that kind of style. Those are kind of cute. $20. Okay. Really excited to price things at $20. <laughs> Oh, these are Zara. They're size 35. They're in excellent condition. I was like, are these teaks? Because I've never found teaks in all my years. Hmm, that's kind of an interesting shoe. Never heard of. $15, probably not worth it, but I like selling this brand. Not for $20. Jeez, $20 everywhere. Oh, that's nice, and they're like brand new. But yeah, so I, oh no, it's $14.99 as is. I'm not even gonna look to see why they marked that as is. Top Shop, oh, Anthropology, those are cute. And brand new, oh my goodness. Okay, $14.99, oh no, they're also $19.99. <sighs> Man, I highly doubt these are worth it, but I could check. Man, everything is $19.99. Those are so cute. They're Sorel. Are they my size? <laughs> Almost. Probably with this pregnancy foot. I love selling Allegria. Those are really cute. Too pricey. Oh, those are really cute dance goes. Really cute. They've definitely got some wear on the inner sole though. But the uppers look really good. And they're a good size. I might look that up. Okay, I'm ready to go through dresses now. And I've got some comps to check. Okay, I'm going through the dresses now. I found one thing. I think this is worth picking up. Mara Hoffman Swim. Mara Hoffman is definitely a bowler brand, in case you don't know of it. But this is a jumpsuit. And luckily, it's not even priced up. It's $7.99. So I think I'm putting all those shoes back except for the Rothy's, but I have really bad news. <laughs> My camera's dying. I forgot to grab the other battery. I thought I would be fine with this one. So <sighs> I might have to just call it soon as soon as my camera like officially dies. And then I'm gonna do a haul of everything that I found, but I'll try to just push through this dead battery as long as I can. <laughs> all right, well. I don't want to waste it with you looking at me going through stuff. So, uh, oh, oh, I love this formal wear brand, Escape, size eight. This seems to be in excellent condition. It's got these mesh cutouts on the side. It's off the shoulder and they want $12.99. So I'll probably pick this up. I just need to look it over for flaws a little bit closer. Okay, let's see if I can find anything else real quick. What's this? Okay, I definitely want to check comps or look this up, this brand, because see how it's tacked? The uh, brand tag is tacked instead of sewn. That's a really common way to learn about new brands because a lot of higher end brands, that's what they do with their inner tags. So I'm gonna check comps on that. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Here's Michael Stars, but I don't typically pick Michael Stars up much anymore. This is half off. It's a junior wear, formal wear, <laughs> junior's formal wear brand, Morgan & Co. My name's Morgan, so. <laughs> and this seems to be in excellent condition. Actually, it looks like unworn and it's $12.99 half off. So I might get that as well. Here's a brand I no longer pick up, Elizabeth & James. It's Mary Kate & Olsen's old brand that no longer exists. Or if it does still exist, it's only at Kohl's, but it used to be a good brand to know, no longer. Okay, sometimes I like picking up this brand. Oh, but the waist tie is destroyed, so I won't be picking it up, but Aster the Label, it's a really good for me bread and butter brand. And if I just get cut off at any moment, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's because like, yeah, I warned you. I mean, the luck between today and the other day is just so different. <laughs> I'm just having a really great thrift day and I'm so excited and I'm only like, you know, <gasps> partially through it. Oh my gosh. 
This is an excellent, excellent formal wear bolo brand, La Femme. These dresses retail for like $300, $400. And this one's sequined, embroidered. I just have to look it over for condition. They want $19.99 for it, but I'm willing to pay that for this brand. Okay, so I decided to finish this video on my phone. So if the video quality diminishes significantly, that is why. But I just went through the men's pants section and I found one really, really good thing. Wari, one of my favorite brands to sell, sells so fast. So very good find. They only want those for $9.99, not $19.99, so I'm happy. But I'm trying to decide if I should stay at this Goodwill since I'm having such good luck or move on to the other one. I kind of think I should just stay here. So that's what I'm gonna do and see if I can find anything else. I still haven't gone through the women's pants or jeans and I have these men's sweaters in front of me. Basically what I'm doing is just going through the new tag, the purple tags, and that's a fast way to go through a section and find some good stuff. So that's how I found these Vori pants. And I have a ton of comps to check, so we have like an hour left and I'm gonna spend it here and see what we can find. So, okay, let's do it. I'll show you these sweaters as I go through them. This purple Tommy Hilfiger. This is kind of nice. Let's see, $14.99 Pendleton, washable wool. Oh, I kind of want to check comps on that. There's <laughs> so many comps to check. <sighs> okay, purple tag. Okay, this is J. Crew sweater. This might honestly be a women's. It's a nice sweater though. Just like a little bit too much pilling for me to want to look up. There's some purples, one purple, no. Okay, here's that theory sweater we saw earlier that I would pick up if it weren't for the snag on it. It's just brandless cashmere. I know some people would pick that up. I, I not me. Here's J. Crew. Seems kind of shrunken. Let's see how new it is. It's 100% wool. Yeah, it being shrunk in 2016 now. Prana. Prana sweater, that's nice, but I don't think we get it for $14.99. Okay, purple tags, purple tags. What's this? I'm gonna look that up. Okay. Okay, so that Allen Payne sweater, that's actually not a bad brand. It probably would sell for around 40, but it's black sweater, which I've learned takes a lot of time to process and it had some issues, so I put it back. But, okay, I'm gonna keep looking through purple tags here. I'll just show you what I find. Okay, so I went through like all the pants and I found one thing, all the women's pants, I should say. Okay, I got a pile here of pajamas. So I'm in the pajama section now, which actually I should go through more often, but this is a pair of Voari women's pants. They're definitely older style, low rise, but they're only $7.99. So I think I am going to get them. I also found a pair on a new rack of cost pants that I'm considering picking up. I've just been picking up more and more of this brand. They're $9.99, they're I think a newer style. I'm just worried I won't be able to find the style name. I think I'll just go ahead and get them and if I don't wanna sell them, I'll just return them. <laughs> the uh, Stark brand, I don't know if you remember me mentioning that, it's not worth anything. I'm gonna also put back that Pendleton sweater after checking comps because they want $14.99 for it. And, oh, this is nice. This is Notori matching pajama set. That might be worth picking up because, yeah, they want $14.99 for it and I think it will sell between like 35 and 40 and that's a maybe. So, you know, I think I'm not going to pick Oh, this is a good brand to know, Flora Necruz. It's not like a crazy $12.99, yeah. Oh, it's new at Tags though. What did it retail for? It's not a crazy Bolo brand or anything. Yeah, it only sold for 50, 
but it does, it is sold at places like Revolve. So there is a following for it. And if you can find a matching pajama set, like at the bins or something, I always like to pick that up. So I found a, I'm gonna look up this pajama set that I just showed you. But then I was just looking up a pajama set by the company store, which I have a comforter <laughs> by the company store. And I think I'm gonna try it. It's 100% Pima cotton and I might keep it, you know, if I don't sell it. But I like selling, I used to sell a lot. I used to always go through pajamas and then I stopped and I think I'm gonna start going through this section again. But I've gotta go put a bunch of stuff back and then I have got to, maybe, I, I really need to go. <laughs> I might just quickly take a gander at the short dresses section in terms of the newer tags. But look at my cart. It's a, it's a good thrift haul. So I'm really, really happy with what we found. If I find anything else, I'll let you know. But otherwise, I'm gonna meet you in the car. Wait, I almost forgot. Going through the pajama section, I found this. This is like a, I looked it up, never heard of it. I think it's a Bolo brand based off of comps, Gershon Bram. This is the piece I found. It's kind of got this silk on the side, I think, and then a cutout on the back, but it's kind of similar to like Rick Owens or something in terms of the aesthetic. So I'm excited to have found that. That was, how much is that? $6.99, so that's actually, hopefully a really good find. So I just want to mention that new brand to me. All right, bye for real. <laughs> Unless I find something else. Okay, so I, spent over $200. I spent $212.30, which is great. I got 20 items. So very, very happy with that thrift trip. I'm very late. I'm sorry, Matt. I'm really sorry. <laughs> it was a really good thrift trip. And uh, I hope y'all enjoyed going with me. Actually, I found two more things. I found an anthropology dress and a, uh, a pair of Spanx moto leggings or the faux leather leggings and I haven't found those or sold those in a while so we'll see how they do their size large which is good I will not pick up size extra small or small in Spanx anymore but anyways really fun thrift trip found a lot of great things I'm so excited to get these things listed but yeah I'll see y'all in the next one okay love y'all bye